Hey guys, Tyler here. A school in Tennessee decided to ban Harry Potter books. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Before I talk about this ridiculous topics, I have a few announcements that I want to make. If you want to support me financially, I have both PayPal and also Patreon. And also my social media accounts are Twitter, as well as Facebook and Minds.com. Before I decided to record this video, I had to double check to make sure that this news was not nothing from 2000s. Like the early 2000s basically had a lot of people complaining about Harry Potter and decided to ban Harry Potter and to burn Harry Potter books. And so I wanted to make sure that the news that I just read right now in this video was not old. And sure enough, this news is not old. It actually came out this month. Nashville school bans Harry Potter, claims that it has evil spells. <laughs> evil spells. <laughs> oh, oh my god, where do I begin? This is some really ancient dinosaur shit. Like, this is the type of shit that I experienced when I was a kid. Like, I remember when the Harry Potter books were first coming out in bookstores, there were, like, many people saying that Harry Potter causes witchcraft. And, of course, there was, like, this one scene in a movie for Jesus Camp where, basically, there was, like, that one crazy woman who said that Harry Potter was, like, the devil. And, of course, across America, there was, like, various book burnings for Harry Potter because people did not like Harry Potter that much. Before people started to say that Harry Potter was evil, I remember people saying that Power Ranger was demonic, that of course Pokemon was demonic, and also that video games causes violence. Oh wait a second, that still happens to this very day with Donald Trump, I'm so sorry. I actually knew a person in real life who were exactly like these kind of people. Like basically they told me two things, right? They told me that my cat is possessed by Satan, and that Harry Potter supports witchcraft. I'm not even joking. I actually knew a person who exactly was like this kind of type of people that I'm talking about right now. But anyway, like, banning a book series or any kind of stuff is just wrong. Now you're going to make a lot of people much more curious about Harry Potter. Like, the Harry Potter phenomenon was like, what was it, 2001? to 2011 and now more people are going to be more interested about harry potter thanks to these kind of bands like come on guys like don't ban books just because you don't like it like <laughs> but i'm not surprised it happens in tennessee of all places mostly because according to the data like uh, tennessee like basically it's like one of the most religious states out there Let's just say, for <laughs> the sake of argument, that Harry Potter <laughs> does cause wish witchcraft. <laughs> does, <laughs> does cause witchcraft, right? The answer to not. <laughs> to, <laughs> to, I can't contain myself right now. I'm so sorry. Like the answer, if you do believe that Harry Potter does cause his witchcraft, the answer to it is not to ban the books. Like, basically, if you really think Harry Potter does cause witchcraft, try to rebut it to your kids or something. Like, why ban an entire book series just because you don't like it? Like, this is so kind of strange kind of phenomenon going on right now. We have our president blaming video games for violent shootings. We have people blaming, like, of course, like, rock music for shooting as well. We have people blaming Harry Potter. Like, everything that's happening in my childhood right now is making a turn back right now. It's just so strange. But, uh, yeah, Harry Potter gets banned in Tennessee and Nashville. I just have no words to say at this point. I'm just getting redundant right now. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And I'll talk to you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.